Welcome back to BTTM News. Coming up next, Daniela Tour will be sharing with us how to cook an easy snack. Ooh, does this mean she's cooking here in the studio and we can eat some of the stuff she makes? I think I saw a kitchen set up somewhere around here. Actually, she will be making it from the comfort of her own home, but only to show our audience how easy it is for them to do it at their home. Good point. Here's Daniela Tour with more information. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Snack in a Show, where we fill you in on the latest DVD releases and fill you up with some tasty snacks. I'm your host, Daniela Tour. This week, Snack in a Show is focused on the DVD release of Charlie St. Cloud. This drama stars Zac Efron as Charlie, a grief-stricken boy who has lost his little brother Sam in a tragic car accident. After taking a job at the local cemetery, Charlie sees Sam and visits him every day to talk and play catch. But when Charlie's old classmate comes back to town, can Charlie finally get over Sam's death and move on with Tess? Charlie St. Cloud will be released on DVD on November 9th. Now, like I mentioned, Charlie and Sam play baseball every day in the movie. So what better way to celebrate the DVD release than to make baseballs? Now, of course, I'm not talking about real baseballs. Believe me, these ones taste much better. So to get started, you'll need one package of Oreos, one package of almond bark, and one tube of red gel, now the first step is to melt your almond bark in the microwave for about two to three minutes, but I've already done that. So the next step is to dip your Oreos into the almond bark. After you've dipped the Oreos, the next step is to let the almond bark harden on the cookies and then it's time to add the gel. Well, and that's it. Your baseballs are done. Well, that's all for this week's Snack in a Show. Now, don't forget to catch Charlie St. Cloud being released on DVD and Blu-ray on November 9th. And remember, tune in for our next Snack in a Show, where we fill you in on the latest DVD releases and we fill you up with some tasty snacks. Making a snack based on Charlie St. Cloud? Now that is what I call local news. Get it? Because we're in St. Cloud. I thought you said we didn't have time for jokes. Moving on, today's special report is by Danny Grant and it appears that she has a very interesting story considering Demi Moore. Um, Mikey says Demi Lovato. Demi who? Uh, Demi Lovato. Isn't that what I just said? No, nope, you said Demi Moore. Here's Danny Grant with the story. This is Special Report with me, Danny Grant. For tonight's episode, I will be covering the story of what is going on with Disney star Demi Lovato. If you don't know exactly who Demi Lovato is, she is most known for her role as Mitchie Torres in the 2008 movie Camp Rock. This brought Demi into her Hollywood fame after this movie came out. Disney gave Demi her own TV series called Sunny with a Chance, which premiered in February of 2009. Just a few months later, another Disney movie came out with Demi playing as a co-star with another big Disney actress, Selena Gomez. Just this year, the sequel of Camp Rock, Camp Rock 2, The Final Jam, came out with Demi once again in her comfortable lead role as Mitchie. On top of all this, Miss Lovato has also been on tour for Camp Rock and her own solo album. The reason I'm talking about Demi Lovato today is because of some concerning news. The young singer slash actress has recently decided to drop out of her tour and enter rehab because of emotional and physical issues. Lovato's rep says that Demi has chosen to take responsibility for her actions and seek help. She's doing just that and is looking forward to getting back to work in the near future. A close friend of Demi told People Magazine that she was bullied in high school, fought an eating disorder, and struggled with cutting. These rumors about cutting and the overwhelming stress she has been under basically made her crack. Nobody's perfect. It's way too stressful to keep working and have so much on her plate at one time. I wish Demi the best as she tries to get through a hard time in her life. Hopefully everything will end up fine. She'll lighten up her workload and schedule some more downtime as we will see her around Hollywood soon. This has been a special report with me, Danny Grant. Back to you, Mike and Danielle. Thank you, Danny. Being a Disney star seems so hard. I'd hate to have a life like that. Yeah, making lots of money, touring, rough. 
Coming up next, we got sports and a look in the forecast with Chief Meteorologist David Martin. See you after the break.